Good morning, this is Mary with High Five Thursday Part 2. <laughs> the first one I put up, I was singing, I was getting ready for uh, to, to what I was going to record today. <laughs> and so that was not my intended um, message. Um, so today we're back on, um, you know, on, on the last one, on Part 1 that I'm taking down. I was thinking, um, here in his presence, the Lord brought, woke me up this morning early with that on my heart. And it's, there's nothing like the Lord waking you up in the morning. It's one of his benefits, it's one of the benefits of, of um, being loved and taken care of by the Lord. He wakes you up with his singing. And so we're in Psalms 112 talking about the benefits. So uh, let's read the first five verses and we'll get into verse six today. Praise ye the Lord, hallelujah. Blessed is a man that walk, that fears the Lord, that delights greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. His righteousness endures forever. Unto the right upright there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion. A good man shows favor and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Those are the first five verses. We we went over, let's see, how many, uh, the Hebrew letters, because today we're on the Hebrew letter that is a number of 20. So we those are the first 10. And now all of a sudden the Hebrew letters start, start being 20. This Hebrew letter is going to be Kaf. And you can see it's open hand. And I, I look at it this like uh, it's, um, let me read, oh, Put that up to you again. That I look to that is like, you know, if somebody gives swears to do something, it's like when you go to court, I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. And so this is what I feel like uh, this cough is. And um, so let's see what it is in this verse. Surely he shall not be moved forever. Do you know that all those words, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words. And in Hebrew, it's two words, mot or lam. And um, so the pictogram here of the open hand means to allow it to cover. You can cover with the open hand or you can open. You can open up. I like to lift up my hand to the Lord like that. Surely he shall not be moved. He shall not be shaken. Uh, greatly totter or slip. That's a word, mote. Surely he shall not be moved is one word in Hebrew, mote. And no matter what happens, no matter if it's a pandemic, no matter if uh, what's happening in the government, uh, we will not be moved because our hope and our trust is in the Lord. Those that fear, greatly fear the Lord, that delight greatly in his commandments, they're not delighting greatly in what the news media says. Our goal in Christian life is to put our total trust in God. And forever is olam. That's an eternity word. That's el olam is the eternal God. And the next verse is lamet. Now lamet is a pictograph of a shepherd's staff or a rod. And it and <clears throat> lamet is, it symbolizes to control to prod or urge forward, to go toward or or forward a tongue, and to me it it um, it's like um, the Lord is my shepherd; I shall not want. I think of when I think of Lamed, the shepherd's rod. And here again, I'm, let me read the verse: "The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance." Who is going to remember us everlasting? God. The things that we do, the things that we say. Uh, everything is going up before him as in in uh, in everlasting remembrance. Um, righteous. This is Zedek. This is Zedek. These are the righteous people uh, that 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 follow God. They're just. They're lawful. They're righteous. They're right, and they're correct. Everlasting again is Olam forever for eternity, and remembrance. And this is a memorial or a memory. Remember in, in the book of Acts where this man's, everything that he had done for the Lord, even if he wasn't uh, a covenant person,
person. He loved God and he was a Gentile. And God said all of those things went up before, uh, that he, all his righteous acts went up before him as a memorial to the Lord. So uh, I hope you can chew on that a little bit. Verse 6 of 112 today. God bless you. Have a great day.